mushrooms, cucumbers, onions. We're gonna add the tomatoes and the cucumbers because they got mixed up together. Peppers, black olives. Now we're gonna go in with the egg. Just gonna cut the egg up into little pieces. So bitch, don't be asking me what the fuck I put in the salad because I'm clearly telling you. Because clearly y'all don't be following directions. Well, at least she's got some green stuff in it. I'll give her that. But simultaneously, I think you're going to destroy it given what I just saw you having in front of you, dude. And you literally called it the fat bitch salad. I've never even heard of some shit like that. I've heard of meat salads. I've heard of that. Hashtag airsoft fatty. I've seen meat salads and those are pretty diabolical. But to have a fat bitch salad... I mean, you know what, dude? Everybody to each their own, dude. But can I really quickly just gaze upon that fucking terribleness one more time? Look, what are we even looking at right here, dude? And look at her face. She's so happy about this fat bitch salad that she has bestowed upon us. What is that, cheese? You got some cheese and meat and other things like that? I, You know, at some point, people got to look at the serving sizes of, of salads. Because, like, when you go into a store, a lot of people will see the salad and go, Oh, it's a salad, so it's got to be low in calorie. Nah! That's a lie, dude. Read the portion sizes. Read the serving sizes. That shit will be like three serving sizes, and each serving is like 200 calories. You just ate 600 calories thinking that it was only 200 calories. It says per serving. Each box is like three servings, dude. That's how they always get you messed up, dude. I swear. That same thing happens to me when I'm like really hungry and I have like I didn't cook anything that day and I'm at like a grocery store and I'm like I'm just gonna buy one of these like pre-packed sandwiches and I look at the calorie count and it's like oh yeah it's it's like 300 calories and I'm like that is outrageously good per serving and then I look at the whole serving and it's like a thousand calories I'm like what for is it fucking sandwich what are you talking about what is in this sandwich that makes it over a thousand calories that's what it's like here now I mean obviously she's making her own. But the point still stands, dude. Uh, this is a fat bitch salad, so it's gonna be high in calorie, right? Olives, little pieces. So bitch, don't be asking me what the fuck I put in the salad because I'm clearly telling you. Because clearly y'all don't be following that. That shit is green, bro. She overboiled that. And I know that because bitch, yeah, I, I also think that there's better utensils for this, right? Like, don't you have some kind of like butter knife or something that could like slice through that? Not some, not some prepackaged fucking. What would you even get this fork from the Chinese food delivery? Like this was an extra fork that they you had lying around. I have two fucking taco tutorials, and y'all still be asking, "How do you make that, do you bitch?" We gonna add the. I I really don't think anybody cares. It's not like anybody is going out here and deciding to make a fat bitch salad or the slutty tacos. I will agree. Um, there's some pretty good names on that shit, especially the slutty tacos. I really like the slutty tacos because if you guys don't know about her slutty tacos, maybe spoiler alert, there might be some slutty tacos in this video, but she really does make them slimy. She makes them like, you know, some people say like, oh man, he's going to get the sloppy seconds. Nah, dude, this is like, oh, this is like a gangbang, dude. And you've been left open. You know what I'm talking about? Like, you, they never stop, dude. BBC's galore. It, it, they, these tacos that she makes are... They've been assaulted. They've been domestically violated. They're just covered in gooey, sloppy, slippy all over it. But anyway, let's let's continue. Let's keep watching about this fat bitch salad. On top. So far, it's not too bad. I mean, it's, it's a lot of fucking food. But I think that's two eggs, which is not bad. The bacon bites. Okay, bacon bits. Damn. Oh, yes, bitch. I didn't even know you can get bacon bits in in a package like this. This is news to me. Let's add our shrimp. Damn. Fried shrimp, by the way. Damn. Chicken. Damn. Chicken, too? Damn, that shit's Bad hard bitch. as fuck. Bitch, flow. Oh. It's, I'm gonna oh. <laughs> it's, it's starting to get pretty fucking... It's starting to get pretty bad. It was okay a minute ago. When she started adding the eggs, I was like, okay, it's kind of getting a little bit suspect. But now, then she added the shrimp, the chicken. The chicken sounded like it had been on, left out on that fucking table for like three hours. That shit was hard as fuck. And now we're just with the buttermilk ranch, dude. I didn't even know they made buttermilk ranch, but this girl's got it down packed and the cheddar. Close this motherfucker. Damn. Damn. Oh. I some two swans on top. How do you even, how do you eat this though? Like, I would love to know... How do you not get your, your hands disgustingly covered with stuff? How do you not have it all over your face? When I eat with my mustache, it is difficult. Let me tell you, sometimes the interior of my mustache will go into my mouth when I'm eating my food. And it is always bad. 
to intake pieces of your mustache while you're eating is uh, it, it just atrocious. And then also, uh, man, dude, it su it really sucks when you're outside and you're eating because you don't have a, you don't have like something to look in the mirror and you're just per per just perpetually walking around with. I remember the other day I had a bagel with some cream cheese and if you don't know if you know anything about me, I'm I'm spreading the cream cheese. Is a lot of it. I, I always do too much cream cheese, and nobody told me that I was just walking around with white crustaceans in my mustache. And I'm convinced, bro. I walked into establishments. I was talking to people, dude. I was being an overall nice person. And I'm convinced people probably thought I swallowed just straight up hot loads in my mouth. And I got a little bit of that flavor saver on my mustache from the man water. And uh, nobody told me. I was out with somebody too. They didn't say anything. And I remember I went in to wash my hands, right? And I looked at myself in the mirror. I was like, what is that? And it was just like crusties all up into my mustache, dude. I didn't even look. Nobody told me. I thought I had friends. I thought I had people that I could rely on that would tell me whether or not I was looking disrespectful. But apparently nobody cares about me. I need better people in my life. People need to tell me whether or not I look like I just got out of a fucking a, a, a mukbang of meats. A mukbang of, 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 of flavoring out my mustache with man meats. But nobody told me that. Don't forget the motherfucking sriracha. Sriracha is no longer good, right? I remember sriracha used to be the bee's knees or the bay's nays way back in the day. But it, it, it lost a lot of its... uh. A lot, a lot of its thing, because I think that sued, and they, they, they changed the formula. It's just too much. Mm. Like once, once your food starts apexing the, the circumference of the circainer, the, 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 container, the container that you're putting it into. At that point, dude, you, you stop it. You know, like get, get something else. Get, get a new fucking, cut it in half, right? Just take off the top and put that in a separate meal and eat that later. You don't need to eat all of this. It's, it's like a mountain of food here. What I told you, I like my motherfucking food slutty. Ugh. Can I forget the motherfucking pickles? Bread and butter oh right God. here, dude. Damn, thick ass pickles. Mm. <laughs> I love that. Mm. 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 Look at my motherfucking fat bitch salad. It's actually not the worst, but it's also massive. So, but it's at least it's a salad. I'll give her that, dude. She's salading it up, so. If God gave me one meal to eat for the rest of my life, Bitches tacos. Extra loaded up. These are them slutty tacos that she was be uh this this is like what she's known for, dude. This and the Chipotle orders, dude, where there'll be like forty dollar Chipotle orders, but she hustles the dude behind the counter. I don't know exactly how she's able to do that. Chipotle is really fucking expensive, especially for all the food that she puts in her orders. But these are the slutty tacos, dude, that everybody's talking about, that everybody wants a piece of, that everybody is uh, apparently like going wild for, dude. These slutty tacos, and you're gonna find out why. I mean, they already look pretty worn out. They already pretty look. They look like they've been through it already. But uh, we're gonna figure out why they're called slutty tacos. Extra every motherfucker. Okay. Damn. Damn. The thing, honey, How'd you eat warm it up in the fucking container? Would you microwave it? Dude, this is uh this is the cheese and chip thing. Like this is what you dip cheese into. I use this shit when I make um nachos, like actual nachos, not like I just pour cheese on top of chips or tortillas. Nah, I make my own nachos, dude. I learned it from a Mexican lady and she bestowed upon me so much goodness dude like i learned from this woman dude and she taught me how to make the best nachos you ever saw in your whole entire life and you probably couldn't handle it i know i couldn't i remember when i first started eating it my tolerance level for the hotness the sweatiness the absolute like spiciness factor it made me rethink myself it made me re it reminded me that i was in fact a white man i didn't know that i couldn't handle heat until i had these nachos and i, I put it in my mouth and my mouth said <laughs> that's how hot it was and uh, but now I'm, I'm not a bitch. I can easily slurp down all these all these delicious nachos. Maybe one day, maybe one day on stream, maybe I'll show you guys how good this these nachos are because they're they're really good. But it's not something you can eat very frequently. I mean, this is something that you could probably eat maybe once every two months. And because afterwards you're gonna be you're gonna be dusty. You're gonna be on the floor. You're probably gonna be crawling around because they're so greased up and probably a lot of calories. But for me, somebody like me who's a very tolerant person, a very, you know, a responsible individual when it comes to the intake of water and the intake of calories. I can easily eat something like that and it won't be a big deal for this person though. Probably not. And like I said previously, there's no correct order on how to put all this shit together. I think there should be though, right? There's a reason why 
ingredients work the way that they do is because there's an order of operations to it. You can't just throw shit together in a vat and then expect it to come out like Coca-Cola. That's not how that works. There's an order of operations. If I feel like putting my liquid cheese at the bottom before putting my pickles, that's my fucking business. I'm going to do that. If you don't want to do it, then don't fucking do it. Damn. Don't do it. Damn. <laughs> don't do what I do. Oh. Y'all, look at this. Oh. By the way, these are Taco Bell tacos. Like, she didn't make these at home, dude. She just went to the Taco Bell, picked up the whatever these things are, and then went home. <clears throat> went home and then decorated them even further with all these ornaments. She is gooey. Okay. Disgusting. Ooh. Mm. Ugh. Damn. She really goes for it. She really goes for it, dude. I'll give her that. Like, she does actually eat the food. A lot of people that do these particular types of food reviews, because there's so many of them, I feel like people don't realize this. If you go on TikTok and you try to find content like this, you're going to find a lot of people doing this shit. It, it, it's like a trend to, for people to buy, like, giant denominations of food and then eat it on camera it's like the wow factor but i'm convinced that most of the people don't actually eat it most of them just kind of sit there eat like maybe 25 percent of it and end the video for for rima though uh she eats it all i i'll, I'll give her that she does body slam it all and uh, i'm not surprised dude because if you look at her instagram or any of her full body pictures that shit is definitely most definitely going to the whatever portions of her body that she doesn't want it to go to bro there's a lot of thighs on that and uh hey bro if that's the life you want to live that's okay but i will give her that she's not a bitch she will eat it all she will 100 percent body wash that shit no problem so i'll give her that good job rima i mean obviously not a good job but i'll give you some credit for body slamming this shit mm. damn i thought there wasn't even meat on that Licking the fingers is crazy, especially seeing all that slop already on the plate. I never understood that. For me, I can't eat with my hands. I just, I refuse. If I can, I will have a barrier in between whatever I'm eating and the food. Look at this fucking picture right here, dude. This gotta be a thumbnail picture, bro. You're probably seeing this for the thumbnail. But it just like, for me, I don't like it when people make really, really messy foods. And sometimes it like actually hurts me when I see people that have forks and knives and spoons or whatever. And they still, uh, like, still licking their fingers up. And I'm just thinking, like, what the fuck are you doing? Or people that when they eat, it's it's my, it's one, it's my ick, bro. When I see people grabbing a burger in the mouth, why are you doing that? What are you doing? Or when people have a candy bar, right? You know when you have a candy bar, you pop it open, right? I leave the wrapper on. You know why I leave the wrapper on? Because it's chocolate. And what does chocolate do in your hands? It melts. And I see people opening up the wrapper and instead of just leaving it in the wrapper and eating what they can and then trying to like maintain the wrapper, some people will just take it out and just start eating it like that. And then their hands are chocolate. But you know what? It doesn't matter to them because they're just going to lick their fingers right after that. And I'm just thinking like, dude, you're disgusting. You didn't even wash your hands and you were outside all day. Same thing with burgers. If you get a burger, leave it in the wrapper. Yeah, or if there's no wrapper, get a napkin. Wrap the burger in the napkin and then eat it like that. Otherwise, you're going to get the sloppy solutions all over your hands. What are you doing? Why? What are you doing, dude? I don't, I'm not attracted to it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Gross. Same thing with Rima. And you know what? She has a lot of acrylics. All of her videos, she'll usually have acrylics. This is an oddity right here where she doesn't have acrylics. Dude. The acrylics will be coated in food. And I'm always wondering, I'm always left wondering, what are you doing after the food? Are you washing yourself? Are you going to take a shower? Are you bathing yourself? Are you cleansing yourself of all the amoebas and gross, disgusting, all these condiments off of your fingertips, dude? Damn. Damn. Damn, bro. It's like sliding down off her fucking hands. The sluttiest of the sluttiest, baby. Damn, dude. Um, mm -hmm. It can't be that good, right? Ooh. Oh, my God. Mm. And she does like the... <sighs> I hear that so often in these food reviewers, dude. And look, I've eaten food before, and I know you've eaten food before. It's not... Nobody eats like that. Nobody eats food and hits it with the... <sighs> You're not eating noodles. You're not. You're eating a fucking slut taco. You're not eating noodles. So if I hear you go, 
I know you're doing it because you want to imitate the sounds of other things going on, maybe of the sexual nature. I don't know. But I think that's one of the reasons why you hear the <laughs> so often in people that do videos like this. Like they're trying to imitate those sounds to get you to watch it even further, right? Because it if you close your eyes, listen, right? If you close your eyes real quick, close your close your eyes, close your eyes real quick and just hear this real quick. Ready? Bloody is baby. Um, um, mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. 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 Ah. Ah. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying, dude. <laughs> Tell me I'm lying, dude. You know I'm not lying. I never lie. Look at this. You're telling me this ain't some sexual innuendos right here? You're telling me her on her fingertips? That's not sexual in any way? There's a look how much is on the plate. You got two extra slut tacos. Body nah, slam the tacos. Shit is different. I don't know. Maybe because I put so much um cheese on top. Look how ooey gooey, babes. Ugh. Yo, I'm telling y'all, try this motherfucker! Ugh. Mmm. Oh. Mm. Uh. Damn. Mm. She about to three piece that. You saw that bite? That shit was serious. She literally took a third of the taco. Easily more than a third. That got to be 40% of the taco. Easy. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's already so much. I hate when people scrape up the plate knowing what they got in their hand. Just eat what you got in your hand, dude. You don't need to be scraping up the plate. Damn. Wow. Oh, man. It's not that good. I don't care what anybody says. It's not that good. Oh, damn, bro. It's not enough what you got? It's not enough? Damn. I, I know people are beating off to this. If it ain't messy... Bitch, I don't want it. True, dude. Anybody knows that. Anybody knows that, dude. And this goes for anything in life. Especially if you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, dude. You know. Damn. Yeah. What the fuck? You got food right there. You don't need to be doing this. Rima. Why are you doing this? Huh? This is, look. There are groups of men out there, and maybe some women. I'm not sure. I don't know. I've never. I've met a lot of women that like a lot of weird stuff. I knew one girl that told me she wanted me to eat her, and I was looking like that's no pussy, dude. <laughs> me, I got it, dude. I could totally, I could do it. And she was like, Nah, bring the fork and bring the knife. And I was like, Huh? What do you mean the fork and the knife for what? What do you mean eat you? The seasoning powders too? The lorries? What you talking about? But I knew that girl. I knew one girl that literally told me she wanted me to wear her like a shoe. Yeah. In the vagina. With my foot. That's right. My foot isn't that big. I'm a size nine and a half, dude. I could have probably done it. And you know what's crazy too? And when she was like, I want your foot in there. I was like, um, I don't know about that. And she was like, like this. And she sent me a video of another guy doing it to her. And it turned out, I asked her, I was like, how do you have this? She was like, oh, I just hit up guys on OkCupid. And I see what I can get going on because I just, I'm really, I'm just, all the time, I'm just so horny. And I'm into whatever. I don't care. But I'm right now, I'm into this phase of feet. And I don't really necessarily even like feet. I just want feet in my vagina. I want you to put me on like I'm a sock, like I'm a Timberland. And... I was just like, what are you talking about, dude? So I wouldn't put it past it. If you were a woman and you were into watching other women or even other men consume high qualities of uh, high high quantities of food and that was your thing, I'm not going to hate on it either. Like I've met a lot of people that are just weird stuff. So it is what it is. I'm going to hate on it a little bit. It is kind of a little weird. You're weird for that. But uh, I, I know some guys that would be into this. I do. I know firsthand there'd be guys that are into this. And uh, for me... I'm not into it. So when I watch this, it's kind of like really, really not comforting for me at all. It's like actually making me kind of uncomfortable. It's kind of like when you see a bug and then you just kind of like shake all around. You kind of like now you're looking around. You think you see bugs everywhere. It's like that for me when I hear her making these, you know, all these mouth noises and stuff like that. It's not attractive for me. So when I watch this, just know I'm doing it for you, the person watching you. 
I'm not watching this because I'm, I love it. You know, it's not, I'm not watching this because I get satisfaction or, you know, for, for levitation, vagina, levitation erections. None, none of that. I am thoroughly unbricked from this. Wow. She does finish it though. Somebody do the math. Somebody do the math real quick. How many calories do you think each one of those tacos is? With all the extra condiments, the cheese on there, all the, uh, I don't even know, I guess the sour cream. Is that sour cream? Was that mayonnaise? I don't fucking know, dude. The pickle, whatever, the meat. We got some apple juice. Apple juice. You got to get the apple juice. I don't know anybody that's drinking apple juice since they were nine as an adult. That's kind of crazy, but go off, queen. I guess it really doesn't matter. Dude, why do you... She's got the bougie, you know how some people will smoke cigarettes and they'll have like that little thing at the, the filter at the very back on top of the filter that they already have? That, this is the filter for straws. Damn. And notice the way she has to hold the cup too because like her hands are so incredibly coated in whatever gloss or whatever this is on the plate because it is so much. She doesn't want to contaminate it. You might as well though, what, fuck it. You're gonna have to do dishes after this anyway. Oh, and she fresh cold soup with the ice, bitch. Ice and ice and apple juice? I don't know about that. You don't need to be doing all that. Mm. Can Can you imagine being the the Vietnamese woman at the the salon, dude? And you see Rima showing up, and she going, mm, "Bitch, mm, bitch." I'm going to need to get my nails done. I'm going to need to get my nails done right now. Mm, get my nails did it right now. And then you're sitting there as a young Vietnamese woman. And you look at her nails. And then you're looking thoroughly. You're like, what is that? What the fuck? What? Is that a Taco Bell wrapper underneath her nails? What? What is this? What is this slot? Wait, hold up. What? Why do you have random things underneath your... What is this? Oh. Oh. Ah, ah! Like, can you imagine? And she has to go in and get her nails done quite frequently. You would be traumatized as that Vietnamese woman. Am I wrong? I would be. I know I would be, dude. Damn, she really, she goes crazy on that first bite. But she tries to prolong it. Like, I feel like she takes that first bite and then she realizes like, oh shit, I don't want to body slam the whole thing. Let me slow down a little bit. It's not that good. Dude. That meat is juicy, tender. It's, mm. it's it's ground beef, you know. Yeah, it's not so you know tender. It's kind of weird, but okay. Seasoned, uh -huh. flavorful. Whatever, you know? dude. Taco Bell, I guess. Damn. Oh my god. God damn, that's a lot of food. Oh shit, damn. I know some guys that would wife her up, dude, just off this video. Hmm. You're going to have to lick the plate clean after that. That looks gross. Salt. Slut. Oh, it's just it's just all over there, dude. Sluttiest tacos I've ever seen. Damn. Rima. Oh. Tell me tell me how you guys feel about this video. Tell me tell me about how you feel about her her making all these mouth noises let me know how you feel about it damn last bite go less than one bite oh shit damn mm. I be pulling up to Chipotle mad late and then be so shocked when half of the inventory not even here, bitch. Get it together, girl. I don't know why she gets these ginormous extra large burritos, bro. And you know what? I know a lot of you guys might be thinking there's no way Chipotle will make something like this. You're partly right. Like they won't make like the double deep fried or whatever the hell this thing is. But they will give you a burrito this size. They won't stop until you tell them to stop. And I think they had to double or triple wrap this. And for somebody like Rima, she goes to Chipotle a lot. Um, I don't know what it is about like really, really inauthentic Mexican food for her, but she really likes it. And she'll take it home and then she'll coat a pan with cheese and she'll cook that for a little bit. And then she'll basically wrap that cheese around this Chipotle burrito. So that's why it looks the way that it does. 
it's just wrapped in cheese. That's it, okay? And she manages to do this, I think, every time she gets a burrito from Chipotle. And like I was saying before, guys, look at the nails. You see the nails are just coated in the sauce of whatever the hell that thing was. I don't know what it was, but it was some kind of, like, sauce. It's all over the nails. All over the nails. The inflation, by the way, on the nails is in, uh, the fingers are, is in, is is crazy. I bet if she took off that ring, there'd be like a giant red mark underneath there because she's so inflated. I'm shocked when half of the inventory not even here, bitch. Get it together, bro. Dang. In the hair too, bro. Like she literally touched the burrito on the side of her head. Crazy, right? This girl cannot be stopped, dude. Her unquenchable thirst for inauthentic Mexican dining, it, it can never be satisfied. Damn, I don't even know what that is. She took a bite and there was something in there that was just not like, I don't even know if that was a part of the actual food. Mm. Lashes ain't it, by the way. Way too fucking thick. Damn. When you have the, <laughs> when you take a bite and you close your eyes, like, because you have to open your eye, you have to open your mouth so goddamn much that in order to acquire more space for the mouth, you have to close your eyes. It's crazy. That's crazy, dude. She did a good job on that wig installation, though. I'll give her that. Bitch. Mm. Damn. She going for it. That. What is that sauce? Why is it so thick and yet also so incredibly thin simultaneously? It's like watery with cheese or something. What the fuck is that shit? Yeah, ho. Damn. Damn. Woo. That took an alpine store, bitch. Don't even know if that was English, but I guess it don't matter when your mouth is filled up like that. Mm. Did you guys see the schlop that flew off the side of her nail? Hold up, let's see that shit. That took an alpine store, bitch. Did you, uh, get the fuck out of here, bro. This woman is unstoppable. There's no way that when she goes to that Vietnamese nail salon, dude, they're they're most definitely talking shit about her behind her back, bro. There ain't no way that she just flew whatever the fuck that was off the side of her nail, bro. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful human being. Mm. Jeez, man, look at the sauce. Damn. Mm -hmm. Do we got time to clean up? No. It's not even English. It's, there's no English involved, dude. It's like her brain just turned into mush because she's eating such a beautiful delicacy. I don't even know. Uh, how, she's on that Joe Biden shit. Baby, I like my food messy and slutty. Mm. Damn. Shit just mm. falling off. Of course, we got oh, a motherfucking pickle, pickle. boom. Holding it with the nails as well. Crazy, dude. Now, I'm telling you, bro. And you know what's really crazy, too? She got that little mermaid back there. Man, you know my biggest problem with that movie, dude? It wasn't the fact that she was black. Is that they didn't choose... They choose to not have her hair as red, dude. That's, like, the key defining thing about Ariel. She had red hair. Like, actual red hair, right? Not brown or whatever the fuck they did with this shit, dude. That's all I ask is a little bit consistency. Damn, dude. You need some mm. kind of napkin. Look at the fucking face. Look at the face. She's covered. She, she's accumulated so much. And by the way, I don't know what it is, but this eye refuses to be open to the same degree that this one is. I don't know if she has more weight on this one because the lashes, they are very, very thick. I don't know why so many ladies, when they do their lashes, they make their they make them so thick. It, it just doesn't look realistic anymore. They're so condensed. Can you spread them out a little bit? Stretch them out a little bit? I don't know. Use half. I don't know exactly how you how it works to install lashes because I'm kind of freaked out about it. Anytime I ever see somebody put that, I get really freaked out. Like that like torture device thing that they use to like push down. It's like scissors and you close it and it like closes the eye together. I don't like that thing. It actually kind of makes me a little bit freaked out. I don't like it at all. Cause it's like, it's such a delicate part of your face, your eyes, and you only got two of them. And it's almost kind of like, I don't even know why we even have these two eyes and we don't choose to wear glasses at all, all points in time. Because like literally having anything in your eye is really uncomfortable. Can you imagine losing it off of anything at all? So I, I don't know why we don't protect our eyes more, dude. But anyway, I guess it really doesn't matter. But her shit is literally like coated with these lashes and they're so thick. Nah, this combo go crazy. Damn, fucking OJ too, bro. Anything with more calories. Bitch. Yep. True. Mm -hmm. True. Damn. Damn. The plate getting more food than your mouth. Jeez, man. Mm. That's... That motherfucking outer layer. 
takes us to a whole other level, bitch. It's unnatural. This whole thing is unnatural. Uh, they're setting off fireworks where I live, dude. We're getting close to July 4th. You know how it is, dude. I live in a hood. Or maybe not the hood, but I guess kind of like a lot of people might consider it to be the hood. There's a lot of people over here that shoot people with guns and stuff like that. I promise that was a firework. If it wasn't a firework, I'm probably... I'm pretty sure that was a firework, but it doesn't matter. Regardless... We're going to end the video here. Let me know what you guys think about this individual down below, bro. She's a beautiful specimen of human being. Do not look at her Instagram. I promise all you're going to see is her twerking or maybe you see a little bit extra. I saw a little bit of butthole, I think. I'm pretty sure she wore these tight pants and one of her things. I don't know how Instagram... Does Instagram just allow, like, nudes on, 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 like, the, you know, on your front page? Is that, like... Can I just post a picture of my dick and like it would just be okay? Like I didn't know that it was like that. Uh, if she necessarily did not post a picture of her whole vagina or her butt cheek or a butthole, but she was wearing something so incredibly revealing. I promise I wasn't purposely looking for it. I was just scrolling through her Instagram to see like what the hell she was doing. And I saw a picture of her in leggings, but these leggings were not real, dude. These things were very tight and I saw the incomplete outline of her butthole i'm not even joking dude. i could probably smell it through the screen but anyway doesn't matter um thank you everybody that watched today's video if you did enjoy today's video i appreciate if everybody could leave a like comment subscribe sharing the video all those things i'd appreciate tremendously so if you could do any of that stuff for me i would appreciate you tremendously if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now leave it down below by typing in toothbrush i have a toothbrush this is a deluxe one that's made for teeth i think i don't know do you guys brush your tongue with the tooth i mean the toothbrush part or the back side because like this one doesn't have well i guess no it doesn't have a back side so i guess i can't even do that i guess if i do use this toothbrush which i only really use the ones that are really inexpensive i just go to the store like the chinese dollar store and i just get like the dollar colgate ones i don't know why so many people want to spend like high denominations on vibrating toothbrushes but i did know a girl that multi-purposed the vibrating toothbrush she had the the toothbrush for that and she had the toothbrush for that i'm not playing what she did that was just something that she did um it, as long as she's getting her money worth it is what it is dude if you can have one to do both two birds one stone that's cool bro that's cool for you but anyway um i appreciate you flossing your teeth today i appreciate you taking your oral hygiene really really seriously because people with bad breath it's not the best it's not it's not the goodest it doesn't taste the best so i'm glad that you can confirm that your mouth is delectable and delicious and and all those good sounding words all those adjectives that we can use to describe the flavorfulness of your mouth that's really great i also enjoy that you make great culinary meals uh, deciding to better yourself through the realm of culinary activity is very beneficial for anybody. So I appreciate your ability to do that. Thank you so much. Your, your dishes are incredible and beautiful, including your dishes, the dishes that you use for the dishes. They're so clean. You use so much Dawn, so much dish soap, and you, you, you really pressure wash them with all that elbow grease you use. So good thanking you for cleaning your dishes. Anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, Twitter, and uh, everything else. Instagram, Twitter, Discord. All that stuff will be listed down below. Um, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace. Fireworks. It's, it's fireworks.